Ah, filming live from a third-story one-bedroom apartment in North Mishawaka, Indiana, the Princess City, cursed by geese, international city of mystery, Northern Shopping District. It's the big bushy. I mean the ten o'clock shadow show with your host Dave. Ten o'clock shadow on my face. Everything's looking great. I got my dapper. I got my dawn. I'm about to get it on. Ah, welcome back to day six of the 10 o'clock shadow show. As always, I'm joined by my good friend, a fatty. Hello, friends. Hello, fat. Hello, friends. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy holidays. We're going to a big party at Fatty's sister and brother-in-law's house tomorrow. I'm bringing chocolate-covered coffee beans and friends making a truffle. A trifle? Not to be confused with a truffle. Oh. I'm not sure, Fran, how knows how to make truffles. Yes, I do. Oh, then how did you know which one to make? I wanted to make something for a lot of people. Oh, we're going to have a big crowd, so Fran wanted to feed the masses. And get yourself some cheap sunglasses. Ah. I've got nice sunglasses that aren't cheap. I got them because... My eyes didn't change this year, and I had a two hundred dollar, you know, per diem credit. Yeah, yeah. So I got some sunglasses for driving. Now I look very handsome. I'm trying to get rid of my double bags under my eyes. I don't want to look like that Mad Dog Mathis. They said if that guy runs for president in 2020, his campaign would be Mad Dog 2020. Just like that hooch wine you bought when you were, just like that hooch wine you bought when you were kids. Oh yeah. You remember those days, Fat Boone's Farm and Mad Dog 2020. Mad Dog 2020, Wild Hours Rose, all that stuff. Purple Passion. Oh yeah. And then the what's the what's the malt liquor with the bumblebee on it? I remember drinking that too. What's malt liquor? Not Schlitz. It was. I want to say O'Doul's. It it was. I want it was some Irish name, like shenanigans or O'Doul's, but it's not O'Doul's. That doesn't have any alcohol. You don't think it's shenanigans for any? Well, it's probably not. But anyway, I got to be du double booked at the church tomorrow. I got to greet and do the soundboard for the 9:30 church. So I don't want to wear my best clothes tomorrow because I got to wear my best clothes on Christmas Eve. So maybe I'll pick out my clothes the night before like you did when you were a little kid and you were so excited to go to school before you got all the homework and the crushing social unapproval. Oh, curses. I remember back in the day I used to wear a pink Oxford and army pants like camouflage with argyle socks and petty loafers. You're lucky that that uh, you were strong because somebody would have beat you up. Probably. Yeah, I was always one of I wasn't always one of the cool kids, but I knew all the cool kids. So, and then I was elected senior class president of my high school senior class. You gotta separate the eggs from the eggs. Mm -hmm. I used to be able to know how to do that, Franny. Oh. I remember one time when I was working for Miss George, I she had to take a call and I had to stir the custard, and I ended up stirring it too hard, oh, no. and I ruined it. You ruined the oh, custard. Brother. The custard's a pain. You can't be ruining that. I know. So you better stay away from the kitchen for a while. I better stay away from Franny's custard. So anyway, I probably said too much. Happy holidays. If I don't see you, I'll see you Monday on Christmas Eve. It might be a late show because we're going to late church. So we'll see what we can do. Adios, amigos. And peace, friends. Oh, that's nice.